I recently made a video encouraging React developers to learn Python in 2025 if they want to get a job. My reasoning in the video was I went through LinkedIn job postings for React developers. Seven out of 10 of them wanted you to also know Python. That's 70% of the React related job postings on LinkedIn. In this video, I wanna talk about some of the popular Python frameworks out there and help you decide which framework you should learn in 2025. First off, the big three web frameworks for Python developers is Flask, FastAPI, and Django. Flask and Django are both synchronous frameworks, which means you have to do everything in order. Fast API allows asynchronous development, which makes it up to five to 10 times faster than Django and Flask. Now I'm not a Python expert yet. I'm just now starting to learn myself, but based on what I've studied, it sounds like Flask would be the quickest way to get up and running learning Python. You can whip up a server in no time, but there's not a lot of built-in libraries and features. So as you're building, if you need to get more and more complex, you're probably gonna have to install additional things into the framework as you go along. So Flask is kind of a good way to get started, but it may not be the best for production level development or for getting a job. Django, on the other hand, has everything included in the framework from the get-go. It has an ORM, authentication, admin panels, forms, security patches. It's over 15 years old. It has a huge built-in ecosystem. And this is a big statistic. 76% of Python developers use Django. So really, if you're just looking to get a job at maybe an established company, Django's probably the smartest option. It's what most Python developers already use, especially if it's a, an established company that maybe has a good bit of job security. Django seems like it would be the best framework to learn if you're just trying to get a job at an established company. Having said that, Fast API is really coming in fast. It's now used by 26% of Python developers. And one of the big reasons, which I've already mentioned, is that it allows asynchronous development. And so again, it can be five to 10 times faster than Django. And so you can be handling thousands of requests per second. And so it's got a lot going for it. Another cool thing about Fast API is it generates its own open API docs the moment you hit save. And one of the things about Fast API is it's used by a lot of startups. And also I've read that a lot of large enterprise companies that currently use Java or .NET, a lot of these companies do not currently use Python, but they're wanting to integrate AI into all of their systems, but their systems are just so enormous that it would be impractical to move their entire system over to Python. So a lot of these bigger companies are kind of taking a hybrid approach. Instead of rewriting everything, they're using Fast API to co just connect parts of their service, part of their code base to Python-based AI systems. So a lot of enterprise level software companies are using fast API to integrate AI into their systems right now. And I read something like 45% of them are doing it. So while Django is used by 76% of Python developers, something to really think about is fast API is now being used by 45% of large companies who are trying to integrate AI into their systems. And again, it's just really fast. And so that could be a lot more attractive to start startups that value being fast. And it's also great if you need to be running a lot of different functions at the same time, managing different calls at the same time. And so in conclusion, if I had to give you advice on what to learn, I would say it kind of depends on what you want to do in your career. If you're looking to get into anything related to AI, it seems like fast API would be the way to go. It seems to be used a lot for AI specifically, but if you're looking to get a stable, secure job at a well-established company, you may want to learn Django instead. That seems to be the smartest play simply because so many Python developers use Django. Again, 76% of Python developers use Django. 
But at the end of the day, it would be best to just learn both and even Flask so you can have it on your resume. Just learn all three. As for me, I plan to start with Fast API. I plan to be making some tutorial videos on Fast API soon. So if you're interested in seeing more of that, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when those videos come out. But I also plan to learn Django and Flask eventually. If you're a Python developer, let us know if I'm giving good advice or not. Maybe I'm not giving good advice. I spent quite a bit of time looking in, into all this. I hope I gave good advice, but maybe I didn't. Let us know in the comments below. Help us out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.